Hello everybody, it's Jen. I have another design team project for Trinity Stamps. Today I'm going to be featuring the new coffee mug card dies. So I'm just showing you here the dies that come in this particular set. So you get this really awesome coffee mug die here that you can fold in half. And you'll see here I'm going to create a card just by itself with a gift holder. So just showing you the insert panel here for the gift card. You can use it on either side of the mug to insert your gift card. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can use the mug to place on a card and make a card with it. We're going to make a square card today. So there's also this little die that will create the coffee or whatever you want to have in your mug. I'm also going to bring in four other stamp sets, three from the new release, the Autumn Sentiments, the Latte Love stamp set, the Autumn Forest Friends that you've seen me use, and then an older set called Seasonal Sweethearts, and I'm going to be using the coordinating dies. So for this first card, I'm going to create a very simple card design on the front. So I'm going to stamp the Latte Thanks from the a Latte Love uh, stamp set. And I'm going to use my Versamark ink here. This is a sticky ink that's perfect for heat embossing. And I'm just using my stamp positioning tool so I can do two coats of that sticky ink. And then I'm going to heat emboss that with some gold uh, fine detail embossing powder. So this will kind of be the star of the show for the front of our gift card holder here. So I love that this die is large enough that you can use it as a standalone card. So just cleaned up some of that extra embossing powder that got on the areas I didn't want. I went ahead and cut out the little top of the mug here with some pattern paper. That's from Lawn Fawn. Now this was sticking up quite a bit so I just ran it through my Big Shot machine through my cutting plates. Grabbed out my icing on the cake Catherine Pooler mini ink and I'm doing a first and second generation of stamping for this little coffee bean. And I'm just going to use that as the decoration for the front of my card. Now for the inside I went ahead and used the gift card panel here, the um, gift card holder panel. Cut that out of the same paper from the Lawn Fawn pattern paper. This is the Knit Picky Fall 6x6 uh, six six paper pad. Making sure that you don't put any adhesive to those little notches on the gift card and it creates a very simple card. I'm just going to add some white gel detailing here to the uh, middle of the coffee beans. My gel pen is dying so I'm just rubbing it on my finger to warm up some of that ink so that it will glide smoothly over the stamped image. I did go ahead and replace that pen after this card, so hopefully I won't have any problems. So there's a closer look at the first card. We're going to jump ahead for the second card. As you might be able to tell, I'm a little under the weather. I don't know if you can tell from my voice. Just trying to make it through this voiceover suffering from a very bad fall um, cold, but the show must go on, as they say. So I was really excited to share these cards with you. And uh, for this one, I'm using this adorable little girl from the Seasonal Sweetheart stamp set. This is a previously released stamp set, but it's super adorable. She can hold all kinds of little things in her hand. The die here, which I'll show you in a second, actually cuts out around her hand so you can put the images um, into her hand. So I'm going to use the little to-go coffee mug for today's project and I went ahead and stamped out that adorable little pumpkin on the cup. I wanted to keep the colors for this card in a very rich fall color palette so I'm using some browns for her coat. I'm using the E79, the E77, the E74, and the E71 here just to have a really nice rich chocolate color for the coat itself. I'm going to color up her boots in the same color just to have some consistency. The pattern paper that I will be using for the back of the card has some brown in the plaid design. 
And I will be using the Lawn Fallen uh, paper for this second card as well. So you can see here the second time around, I'm just darkening up some of those shadows. So there would be shadows under her scarf, around her hands, and where the one side of her coat meets the other side. I'm not too worried about the buttons on her coat because I know that that little cup will actually cover the buttons. So I don't have to worry about coloring them. Again, with the boots, just darkening those up my second time around and liking the darker, rich color I get with that second coat of the Copic markers. For her skin tone, I'm going to do a little bit darker of a skin color. So I'm using E33 as my darkest, E11, and E00 as my lightest. And then I'm bringing in the R02 for her cheeks. I really like the R02 for um, fall cards, it just gives a little bit of a more salmon color to um, her cheeks. This is a newer marker to me and I'm really liking it. Just gives a little bit of a switch up from the R20 which I usually use. So to add some accents here, I'm going to do her little leggings and her scarf in this blue kind of tealy aqua color. So I'm using the BG BG78 as my darkest. The BG75 as my midtone and the BG72 as my lightest. Going ahead in there with the darkest, so there'll be some shading where her scarf folds over itself, where there's that little draw line drawn in the middle of her scarf, and then underneath uh, her coat for the leggings would also cast a shadow. I'm going to do some really simple coloring for her hair. Using a three color blend here, my darkest is the E35, my midtone is the E34, and then the lightest is the E31. Hair is something that does not come natural to me in terms of coloring, so I just do the best I can here doing some feathering as much as possible to get a little bit of texture in there, and I think it turns out okay. For the little pumpkin here, I'm using YR18, YR68, and Y38, I think it was, 35, can't remember. Um, but I did go ahead and color up two of the pumpkins from the Autumn Forest Friends stamp set, and you'll see that as I go to put the card together. Just adding some final details, here's where I'm showing you how the die cuts out her little hands, which I think is super adorable. So I'm going to run that through my Big Shot. And then I'll have those two images ready to create my card. So I cut out the mug die and I'm going to trim down. I already trimmed off the one side, but I didn't quite get it to the edge. So I'm just going to use my trimmer here, trim that down. I am going to be making a shaker card for uh, this particular card. I feel like I haven't done a shaker card in a long time. So I'm going to use the top of the mug here to cut out a hole in the mug itself. I'm going to go ahead and secure some acetate down. This is just some extra packaging that I had left over from something. Just wanted to reuse that so I'll trim that down so you can't see that over the edge of the mug itself. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a double layer of foam tape. First though, just going to add that mug into her hand. Use some liquid glue there to make sure that's good and adhered down to the image. I love how her hands come over top like she's holding it. You can see the two pumpkins there to the top right. I did want to add a little bit of a background here. I'm just going to do a soft blend with some ground espresso distress oxide. Now I didn't quite think of head so I did not use Bristol Smooth cardstock for this so you can see the blending is not as smooth as it would be on the Bristol cardstock but it's okay for what I want the look to be for this particular card. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere down my pumpkins first because they are going to be behind the little girl here who will be the focal image for today. And then I'll go ahead and adhere her down. Because there will be dimension with the shaker card, I'm just adhering them flat down on to the little mug here. I am going to stamp out the sentiment. The sentiment is from the Autumn Sentiments and it reads Happy Pumpkin Spice Season, which is super adorable. So I curved that a little bit just to kind of go with the natural curve of the mug. And I'm going to use some Trinity Stamps Coffee, Be Coffee Bean Heart Sprinkles to fill my shaker card. 
And if you have not seen Trinity Stamps embellishments, their shaker sprinkles, sequins, they seriously had the best ones on the market. So I encourage you to check those out. I will leave the link to the coffee bean heart sprinkles down below as well as all the other products that I used today in case you want to check those out. Um, so I'm going to trim up this little piece of paper that I added to the back of my shaker element and then I'll go ahead and create the card. So my card today is 5 inches by 5 inches. So I'm going to do a square car card. Decided to round the bottom edges just because there's the rounded edges of the coffee mug. So I thought that would be nice and just kind of complement that co coffee card a little bit. So once I get the pattern paper down, I'll just trim it up a little and then I'll go ahead and adhere my coffee mug to that card base. I'm just going to peel off some of the release paper and then add some liquid glue to the uh, piece of cardstock I used to cover the back of the shaker window. I'll line that up and then add a little bit of detail to her eyes. I'm using a black glaze pen. I will let that dry a little bit more than you will see on camera and then I'm going to bring in my white gel pen and I'll add some highlights to the images and then come in and add some white highlights to her eyes as well. There's the card done. I'm going to give it a little shake. You can see those sweet little heart sprinkles moving around in the card. Here's a close look at the two cards we made today, the gift card holder and then our shaker card. I really hope you enjoyed these cards. I had a lot of fun playing with this uh, coffee mug card die and I love that the gift card holder can be used with this particular die or it can be used in any of your cards to add a gift card. It's great to have versatility with your dies. Thanks for watching. Hopefully my next video I'll be feeling 100% back to normal and my voice will be much easier to listen to. But thanks for sticking it out with me today. Here's a couple more videos for you to watch in the meantime. And I will see you all really soon. Have a fabulous day. Bye, everybody.